What's going on, Doombots? Uh, we're, today we're going to talk about Arena and uh, the Arena store and the Arena credits and kind of why it's important. So for those unaware of these kind of games, Arena is a PvP-like game mode in which you will place uh, a series of characters that you are working on, usually your strongest characters, but early on in the game, it's just going to be the characters you have for the most part, and you will fight against the teams that your opponents use. Now, unlike Marvel Strike Force, but similar to a lot of other games, I like to compare that because I know a lot of you guys play Marvel Strike Force, uh, you don't have a separate arena offense and arena defense, which I think is truly phenomenal. Uh, you have to use the team uh, that you win the fight with uh, as defense, which kind of creates a, a higher end situation where you have to have a team strong enough to win the fights, but also reliable enough to resist your opponent's fights. And there's a lot of ways you can do that uh, at the higher end. Now, what you're going to notice is I am incredibly, incredibly low ranked in my arena uh hilariously low ranked in my arena and that is because i started playing this game a year ago and then i stopped playing pseudo seriously uh i'd say for about a year <laughs> you know like i'd log in occasionally maybe i'd get a message or i'd see like oh an event's running on or something cool was happening but i, I wasn't playing it seriously because a lot of my time was spent in a lot of other games, including like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Genshin Impact, etc., 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 etc. Recently, I've retaken to this game. I think they've made a lot of positive changes. Anyway, whatever. So the entire concept of Arena is you're going to go in, you're going to use your strong team, you're going to fight their team. So for right now, my 40k team, which consists of two orcs, a demon, and two humans, uh, which I could just just change at any point if I want to, uh, is going to go up against that guy's team, and it's honestly probably going to destroy it um the the idea is that you will fight higher and higher to get to the top of the quote unquote ladder at the top of the ladder you get to stand on top and receive rewards just to show you a quick fight i can go ahead and click auto because i'm so much higher power than this team that it's very unlikely i'm going to lose auto is a great feature just remember that if you use auto you're saying that I'm so strong I'm going to win, but it's going to fight itself. They're going to target whoever they want and do whatever. You can click auto and choose targets if you'd like, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, and that's pretty much everything. So clearly I won this arena fight. I uh, went up in my arena ranking and that's it. Over time, more people will join but uh, the arena, but it's very unlikely that your account is going to have uh, this different people because your arena shard or group is based on the people who started with you. So when you clear arena, based on where you rank, which uh, for me it's relatively low as we said, you receive an amount of rewards. Uh, let me see where I could find that right here, probably where it says rewards, right? Uh, you can catch what the rewards are. Now, no matter where you are, the rewards are always the same things, just not the same amounts. So the rewards are always Dre coins, the in-game currency of the game, and uh, gladiator rubies or arena credits that can be used in the arena store. Not too big of a deal. So right now, I'm sitting down here in the lowly sad area. I'd like to be somewhere up here in the uh, top area. That's very unlikely right now. I'm not spending enough money to catch up to the people who've been playing for the last year. But it is very likely that over time, with skill and with using the correct characters, I will be capable of pushing up. Now, one thing you can see is what the strongest people in your arena are doing. So once I go here to show best, I can see that the number one person in my arena is this guy, which means this is the team he's using. Hey, look, legendary, legendary, really good character. Uh, and then two characters that have very good synergy with each other, Eric Shieldbreaker and Garrett. Uh, and you can kind of go around and see what everyone's using. If you go to their player profile and go to team, I believe this almost always shows the arena team that you last used. So this guy's using a very similar comp, except he's using Hard Orc. You can kind of figure out, hey, these guys are going to be really good in arena. Just remember, this guy is at level 80, and uh, the characters are at quote-unquote max investment with quite a bit of, of, of decent runes on the characters. You'll notice that... 
This one is a garbage rune, but it's got a very high speed meter. This rune has a speed roll. All in all, the entire idea is that like you just fight with what you have in the early game to get your rewards. Now, obviously, Drake coins are incredibly relevant uh, because they help you refresh nodes, get additional energy, uh, and of course, buy chests and the like over time. So you want to accrue these as much as you can because they help you no matter where you are. They're always something to use Drake coins for. During an average day, you'll probably spend about 200 or so Drake coins just from uh, refreshing nodes or refreshing energies, etc. Uh, as time goes on, if you're able to accrue a ton of them, you could start spending them on more stuff like specialty chests that can give you more character shards of specific types like orcs or demons, maybe you're working on them, that kind of thing. But overall, Drake coins are pretty useful. You can also buy them directly. The thing I want to point out is shop. Now, Tony, how do you have 40,000 Drake coins when you're this low? Because I wasn't always this low because a year ago, I was in the top infinite percent of my arena. Uh, and then for a year, I accrued these resources, you know, so I just opened a bunch of mail and got a ton of them. But the arena credits are pretty much used for one thing and one thing only, and that's additional character shards. In general, there's a pool of characters. They're not always the same, and I'll show you. Um, Mar being the orc character, Salvatore being the pride character, a decent goblin, another pride character, and then Sharp, who's not a great character uh, in general, but early game, he will fill a lot of uh, holes that you need in a damage dealer uh, for order if you don't have a better one. Uh, same thing, you can refresh the store here, and you'll see like maybe one or new, two new characters. So here's another pride character. Voiron's not particularly good, but I like having my characters at 7 star, and as you've seen, I have a ton of extra credits. Senjiel, also not a great elf. Again, I wouldn't recommend farming him, but that's a separate video for another time. And I already finished Mar, so I don't have to buy him. Refresh one more time. I don't recommend doing this. I have a ton of arena credits. So I have no problem refreshing, spending my Drake coins to get more character shards than that. You probably won't be doing that. Now, the arena store itself refreshes three times a day, every eight hours, um, or every 12 hours. Eh. Eight sounds right. Eight times three is 24, right? Yeah, that's how math works. So every eight hours, the arena store will refresh. If you ever wonder what time it refreshes, just check right here. It'll tell you, oh, okay, so for me, it'll refresh at five o'clock and then eight hours from there and then eight hours from there. So you have a really good window of time where you can check to see if the characters are there. If there's no character you want, don't spend your resources. Uh, wait until the next refresh, or if you happen to be buying or having an excess amount of Drake coins, do what I do, refresh them. I really feel uncomfortable refreshing anymore. I'll just wait another hour and 30 minutes, see what comes up, and then I might spend another 50 cores twice to, or 50 Drake coins, sorry, uh, twice to do that. Now, Arena is, uh, is weird. So no matter what happens, Arena will almost always be a, a showcase of spenders. Uh, that does not mean that a free-to-play or a casual spender couldn't get very high up in Arena. Sometimes there's a little bit of RNG involved. Sometimes there's a little bit of, uh, you know, like planning involved. You And more often than not, if you want a very high Arena rank, you might end up sacrificing something else along those lines, like uh, access to characters for a tournament um, or you know, inability to complete certain campaign nodes, or you just might make yourself weaker for other content in order to do this if you're not spending a ton of money. However, this is true. The more money you spend in the game, especially to not only get uh, characters to max star, but to get the max investment on the character to make sure you have the correct runes or artifacts on a character, it works itself out that way. Uh, that's pretty much everything for Arena. Arena is incredibly important in the early game. It becomes a little bit less and less important in the late game for you as a player. Uh, but as many of you guys are just starting the game now, just know that the earlier you start the game, you're starting with uh, people who also started within a couple of weeks of you. So the strongest person in your Arena shard is not necessarily somebody who's been playing for three, four, five, six years which is ridiculous, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's somebody who's been playing for maybe a little bit longer than you, and they might have spent a little bit more than you to have access to things that you don't have. 
uh, like maybe a character like Zera, where you could buy her immediately for like a hundred bucks or so. Uh, other than that, that's Arena in a nutshell. Hopefully it was helpful. Comment below and let me know if there's anything specific you wanna know about Arena. I can't give you teams because Arena shards are very unique. However, I do think that if you go with your orcs and humans early game start, you will see that a lot of other people are doing that. So it just becomes an issue of who has the right investment, who's stronger. And that's basically how Arena is always going to go. The strongest person is more likely going to win when all things are even. Uh, have a good night, guys. Have a great day. I have been Tony Scangilli, and I will catch you later.